Welcome into Hump Day. It's May 24th, Wednesday. Thomas Miller speaking to you from the past. (laughs) This is pre-recorded as I am still on my trip to Florida. We move over toward the east coast of Florida today and tomorrow in order to get ready for Friday's start of the Levels of Energy Seminar with Fred Dodson. 2023 version begins Friday morning. If you are a Fred follower, you will certainly see clips and highlights of it from his website and his social media account, Reality Creation, on Twitter. Moon moves into Leo at 1034 this morning, Eastern Time. What a great moon to begin this seminar, too. I mean, you talk about, and then the moon moves into Virgo Friday night, so the last two days will be a Virgo moon. Perfect. (laughs) Wow, that's great. Now, remember the granularity of this, and you're going to get tired of hearing this, but we're going to reemphasize it because it is such a reality for us the next two years. See, everything that changes signs hits Pluto. So that happens 30 minutes later, literally at 11.04 a.m. The moon will be opposite Pluto. And then remember, we were talking yesterday or Monday about last night's spaghetti, and we're talking about this bowl pattern Listen to this stack of energy. All Eastern times, 1034, the moon enters Leo. 1104, the moon opposes Pluto. 212 this afternoon, the moon squares Jupiter. 320 this afternoon, the moon conjoins Mars in Leo. 530 this afternoon, the moon sextiles the sun. And at 550, the moon squares the nodes. And that puts the moon in a big grand cross, or basically four squares, with Pluto. So the moon, Pluto, opposite each other, square to the nodes. I can't tell you, and I know you've seen the same thing, how many posts there are on social media of people saying, sure does feel like there's something up. Can't put my finger on it, but something's going on. Hit that replay button and listen to that stack up again. And remember, it's fast, it moves quickly. But it's our emotions. This is why we can't mask this stuff. You know, it's the the chin up through this is not serving. You have to recognize that this is challenged energy. Okay, we don't live like this, but we can feel like this when the energy is there. And primarily what I'm talking about are these aspects. I mean, with the moon and Leo, you want to put yourself out there. That's that emotional energy of... I want to be heard. I want to speak. I have something to say. Or or it's that quiet, deep, still water that is also the other side of Leo. The not wanting to be on the stage. But boy, there sure is some fire and depth within. And maybe that's it. Maybe it's that quiet strength that shows up. But then you go boom, 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 boom through the rest of today. It's a lot of mixed energy. And yes, a lot of us who are conscious creators, who are in touch daily with our lives, even hourly with our lives, are feeling this. We've been talking about the moon. The last aspect to close out the day is Venus squares Chiron at 740 this evening. So you know what you could do with this, seriously, is after this day of bouncing energy, is sit in the evening with your candle lit and with your journal out and with some nice soft music on and let the Venus and Chiron reflection about our spiritual path be the closure for this day. In other words, go through the energy. It's all fine. It's the moon. It will be gone by then. You know, boom, 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 boom. But to close out the day, bring it back to your heart. That's Venus. See all sides of the picture, that's Venus, the scales, and sit with the fact that there's a lot more going on than just what's on social media. This is about our soul's path. And certainly Chiron reminds us that we are constantly peeling an onion, aren't we? Something comes up, just realize it's going to pass. Tomorrow is really pretty calm. I mean, there's three things, two things, two little aspects with the moon tomorrow. Not a big deal. You get a break. This has an ending. And you get a day off tomorrow. (laughs) And then Friday, it kind of kicks back up again. Now, what if you want to take the other side of this and say, I want to use all of this to my very positive, highest timeline advantage? Okay, let's talk about that. Well, number one, there's a lot of fire today. And it's kicked off by this moon moving into Leo. 
then what does it do? It opposes triple Mars strength Pluto. So there's this pull on transformation. You're going to feel a tug there. Then it squares Jupiter. Jupiter's a fire element planet. What do you want to expand? Or what do you have too much of, too much excess? Then in fiery Leo, the moon conjoins, sits right on top of fiery Mars. And then it sextiles the sun. Ultimate fire, right? And remember, it's doing that from Leo, which is the sign the sun rules. Now, just quick synthesis. What are you going to do with that? You're going to get a lot done. <laughs> you're going to. So first of all, you're going to use the Leo putting yourself out there. So if you've been holding back a little bit, you are going to move it forward. Pluto, you are going to add the strength that Pluto brings. Remember, this is your highest timeline path, not your karmic dealing with business path. Pluto, transformation. What do you need to tweak? What needs to be adjusted? Maybe there's a phone call that needs to be made, an email or a text that should be sent in a very kind way. Maybe there's a little plan that needs to be modified. Think transformation toward your highest timeline. What's in the way that you could move out of the way? All right. And then in the middle of the afternoon, when it's square, and I'm saying this, I'm sorry, Eastern time zone, but you get the message. Then when it squares Jupiter, you look at your alignments. What am I powerfully aligned with now? And then, of course, when it conjoins Mars, and even though it's 3.20 in the afternoon, what can I get started? What can I get launched? What can I move forward? What can I add some juice to? And if you were going to goose something today, save it for the later afternoon part, because there's your Mars conjunction and your sextile with the sun. So that's like the launch pad. That's the rocket going before it takes off and flies into space. And then I guess as you're listening to this, you would be asking yourself, which one of these timelines do I want to show up on today? <laughs> and that's your choice. I know what mine is. I'll see you guys. Have a great one. Love you. Happy hump day.